because we don't have as much ice, but you can get them up north easily. I just wait till I was visiting my family and then buy the ice melt cables in any, any Lowe's or any home depot. Is it the same thing as, as the uh, ones to keep your pipes? Free? No, they don't go as high because they just, you know, if they're at the 40, they're going to... a different... Yeah. They're, yeah. they're basically like this, but they have a lower temperature thermostat. Yeah. And we're just make, you're making sure that, that it never crosses itself. Right. right. If it okay. crosses itself, it'll overheat, right. melt the thing, melt and short out. Okay. <laughs> a few more of those stables. Yep. 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 Great. And the ice melt cable is at about 70 or so constant. No, no, you're going to need a thermostat for them. Oh. Yeah. They, you have to set your own thermostat for those. They don't come with thermostat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so the remote bulb thermostat that we recommend that's on your handout costs about 56 bucks. Oh, okay. I run, Greg set it up, he put an outlet so I could run two tables. You know, we plug, we plug the cables in so I could run two tables on one thermostat. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah. go into that in the summer. Yeah. yeah. We'll show you how that's done. We unfortunately bought this unit with the thermostat and somehow too many people here got lost. So I had to go out and buy another one. Of course, they didn't have the $56 one. I had to buy the $70 one. Yeah, enough mm -hmm. to do more down here. Like, someday we'll find that thing. It's somewhere, you know. Sure. Just too many people, you know. Like this. Okay. Things get moved around. Yeah. I have that okay. problem in my house, and there's, yeah. my there's mom only three of us yeah, left right, there now. Yeah, that's how it is. It's the nature of life. You know? I should have known. I should have written, must have for germination chamber. Please leave here. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> or tell me where you put it, you know. If you told me that, I wouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> <laughs> now he admits So it's it. your fault that I... It's on camera. Rocco, I figured that had to be the case. Funny, yeah. Look like uh, junk uh, to you, I'm sure, you know? Sometime. Oh, yeah. See how that's yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the nature of life. That's pretty good coverage, you know. Yeah. Not perfect, but it's enough, right? Yeah. That's close, close enough for jazz. A little more gravel on top of it. Okay, let me start getting more gravel. And then you got a heated ballast bed. Could lay down. Yeah, you could. Sorry. Oops, sorry. there goes some of these teams. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I just pointed out, you don't want to make this and then move it somewhere. You want to put it where you want, want it to be. Is this its home? Hanging over the end I of the table like this? I guess so. We can probably just slid back and forth. You won't be able to pick it up. Nice stable heat, you know. And see, I like this wide 2x4. 
because now you can just like either drill holes or drive like nails that would then put PVC over it. Oh, yeah. And then you can use movable insulation to hold the heat in and you need even less energy to heat it, you know? Um, I actually had these tables going the year of the Easter freeze. Do people remember the Easter yes. freeze? Yes. The infamous Easter freeze. And I had, you know, I'm just crazy, man. I already had tomatoes and stuff going. And they were tall enough that my row cover touched them. And they got, you know, I had no heat in the greenhouse, just that. You know, and then where it touched, they got killed, but they didn't get hurt otherwise at all. Now, what's the downside of relying on that? Power goes out and you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. If the power went out, I was going to have to hustle them into my car and drive them over to my basement. Where it wouldn't freeze and they'd be okay, you know. But it's really cost effective for a small scale operation. Rather than heating a whole greenhouse, you just heat a few tables and your cost is reasonably low. I still, with, I had three tables going, I dropped $70 a month on it. But compared to heating a greenhouse, that's nothing. And that's, you get about, did somebody count how many flats here? Probably about 15 or so. You know, 15 to 17 flats per, um, per table. Now, do you use that to germinate the seed? No, because I have a germination chamber. Yeah, but I mean, if you didn't have one. If I didn't have that, yeah, I would have this on here with those domes, mm -hmm. or clear plastic, you know, okay. and that would work, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was just talking to Alan. The germination chamber is really for a bigger operation. Mm -hmm. Unless you're real handy, in which case you'll love it, make yourself one. They're pretty cost effective, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and the germination chamber's got, I saw a heating element in the bottom of it with a water reservoir and the racks fit over it. The racks fit over it and it's got a remote bulb thermostat and the thermocouple is sitting in the air. Okay, right. so the air temperature drops below 74 it makes the water get hot enough to raise the temperature back up to 74 which means the water gets as hot as it gets in a shower <laughs> right and so it's, it's, all, it's that steamy air that, is, that makes the germination happen. So when easy. you say remote bulb you're talking about the thermocouple. The thermocouple yeah. Okay. They, they call them remote bulb thermostats. That's okay. okay. Yeah. All right. That's, if you're going to buy one, you want to say, I want a, I want a remote bulb thermostat. But we give you the number, you know. And if you're lucky, they'll have it. And if you can wait, they can get it. If you're in a hurry, you'll spend 20, 14 bucks more, and they'll give you a more expensive one. You know? But they always have something that works like that. That's at Granger's. That's where we got it. You know? Okay. Yeah. So these here don't don't have a rated amperage. Most I'm surprised every electrical thing is supposed to have a post on here, but not in the directions or the package. That's pretty bad. Yeah, so I don't really know what to draw these, but they're probably not there very much, and two of these could plug into an extension cord easily, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. as far as, I mean, we have... Well, come on, why don't you all come over here? Here's a thermostat that we got. Patrick's is a bigger dial, you know? I like it more. This one, I think it has an adjustable range on it. I mean, adjustable... Offset, you know. Offset. On off. Uh huh. Why do you have it out here in the world instead of inside? Well, this well, is here's the part that goes out here. Is anyway, so this thermostat is rated at 15 amps. So that'll power on a regular cord, one outlet. And these units here are 1500 watts. So at 120 volts, that's from. Should have primed myself on this. That's like close to 10 amps, I think, to each one. So you're not going to run this on one extension cord? Well, they'll probably work. Two of them, but, but two elements will probably max out this thermostat, I'd say. Uh -huh. And we got a 15 amp extension cord, so it'll probably work, but that's probably as much as you want to do on it, I'd say. Uh -huh. Oh, and yeah, see, actually, you probably want to get a separate thermostat for the other side. Uh -huh. That'd probably be safer, right? Well, We'll hook them both up to this and see how it works. See how it works? You know? Okay. I hope All you're right. going to cover that thing so people don't touch no, it. No, we're not probably because we're not <laughs> totally safe here. But No, we will cover that. That I mean, will not be sitting like that when we turn on. Those two bolts yeah. are really hot. You could, yes. Yeah, I mean, you could Take screw yeah. something out of this. Yeah, we will. Before we turn it on, we'll cover it because yeah, we got yeah. we got a preschool here. We got kids. Right. <laughs> yeah. It took you. I'm your safety manager. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. OSHA proof. You're the OSHA spy, right? <laughs> So um, I got a cord for this one. I just stopped by Lowe's my way down this morning. This cost about 15 bucks. Per 48 feet. Is about it's feet. cheaper than buying a plug okay. and a wire and it's better. So He just figured out that per 48 feet, uh, this is about 168 watts. So one and a half amps. Okay. So that, yeah, that's pretty low. Yeah. There. How about, about 1,500 watts at 120 volts? 
for what was that originally? A hot table from a restaurant? Or I think it was made for that. I think Wade oh. went to our local sheet metal worker. 12.5. Oh. 12.5. So this, we may not be able to power two up at once. Okay. We'll try it though. Okay. This might work. Is this how a hot table, a steam table works? Yeah, basically. So maybe you could buy one of those at a used restaurant. Oh, you probably could, but then you'd want to set it on a thermostat and then still. The box on top of Unless you have it. I don't know if they would go down low enough, you know? Ah, okay. Because they're designed that to keep food might, hot, yeah. you know? Yeah. So well, you could probably figure out a way around that, but, you know. Now, if you're you're using your thermostat as the controller, yeah. you could simply throw a relay in there. Well, this a is 20, a, there's a relay in here. But you could throw a 20 amp relay on that. You could do that. You could add a relay. That's true. See, so you is, definitely are qualified to make one of these. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so this is a remote... I approve you. <laughs> this is a remote bulb thermostat. Here's the bulb. It's remote from the thermostat itself. So this is works on expansion of the gases inside. So you want to be careful because it, that message travels off this tube. So you don't want to crimp this tube. You got to be careful. Handling that. Okay. So this has got to go in here. Somewhere. I put more in the middle. Well, that will be right by the element. Don't want it right by the element. No, I meant more in the middle in the air. You don't want it down so low to the heat because you're going to false read. You want this air here to be 74 oh, no. degrees. And I can put this in the water. Oh, just no, it doesn't go in the okay. water. It goes in the air. Okay. It goes in the air. So I'll just put it in this yeah. crack right here. Yep, there you go. That's why I built it with that crack. I figured as much, Rocco. One sharp yep. end of it. Yes. If you just hadn't thrown out the thermostat, everything would be great. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I guess I could just leave it like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That'd be fine. Rocco, I think we'll just build a box around the wiring, you know, to make it safe. That won't be hard to do, right? No. But yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put it. Yeah. And, um, and around that thing. Somebody will go by and catch it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you, sir. We will clad. We will clad it. We will yeah. clad the yeah. germination yeah. here. Well, if you don't see anything else, you can throw a blanket over it. Yeah, I didn't. Nah. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. It does get sealed. Yeah. He just lost his safety inspector for Right, yeah. He just got fired. <laughs> I've never actually. <laughs> That's the other thing. This connector in the bottom here, this cable connector, probably not going to get three wires through it. Uh-huh. So we probably need another. Yeah. Should we just do the one? Yeah, just do the one. Okay. That's fine. We'll get another thermostat. Okay. We'll go to the landfill and find the other one. That's where it is, huh? <laughs> I don't know. If you run out, come and see. I never need to know. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's gone. You know, or maybe it's not gone. <laughs> but it's not available, you know. We'll always find a use for it if it shows up, you know. I never throw it away. No. Well, actually, um, <laughs> who was it at that at the um, workshop on? Um, wasn't it Baron? Yeah, Baron went on about how he used it to tie everything. Romex? How Romex was the best thing in the world for tying things, securing things. How fast and easy it worked. How well it held. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. Copper wire. Yeah. yeah. Clad. Yeah. So it doesn't. Yeah, you can use it. We use pieces to. Um, Tie up our electric fence. Mm -hmm. The insulator, then it doesn't have to worry about contacting the electric. Mm -hmm. part. Actually, as a business, I read, I think it was in a National Geographic where we sent a bunch of old telephone wires to take down mm -hmm. over there, and these kids in Egypt take the, everything off and they make all kinds of things out of the copper wires and sell them. Mm -hmm. I just had the experience <laughs> of telling a. A really sweet guy was working for me that, like, you know, it actually is illegal to burn all that construction waste. Yeah. And I said, oh, is there anything in there you can't use? I said, painted wood. You can't burn painted wood. You can't burn anything but brush, actually. You know, brush and firewood. Right. You can't. And, um, pardon? You can't. We went through that in the community. They were yeah. burning that stuff in the shed. Yep. And um, he said his son, I said, and he said, was there anything really bad in there? I said, well, there's a bunch of wire. He said, oh, yeah, my son. He, he burns it off because they pay you more at the junkyards. So that's a point we have to reach. We have to make it that it's not okay for the junkyards to pay for stuff that's been burned off. Because those kids are making themselves sick too. They're going to get cancer when they get old. Yeah. Oh, you know? from stripping yeah. the plastic off the wires? From burning the yeah. They'll burn it off the wires. Yeah. Okay. They're not stripping it. They burn it because oh, it's fast I, and easy. Yeah. It's my really boys, neat. I made them cut 
cut it off. No. Yeah, good. Sit here and watch the TV copper wire and got you twisted. The little wire it carries yeah. more electricity than the solid one. Mm -hmm. And see, they soldered the very end so they wouldn't unwrap. Uh -huh. I mean, I, that's my idea of somebody yeah. that really cares. Yep. <laughs> more surface area carries yeah. more current. your outer insulation gets through that clamp. But no more than a half an inch. Right. I guess I need that, that orange screwdriver there with the straight blade. Okay. This is an old, old clamp, no Phillips. <laughs> You know, I guess the other one probably has more capacity because he only had one thermostat for it. So it probably had more capacity. For two? Yeah. That might have been. You can, if you buy a thermostat, you can read the specs and probably find one greater amperage than this. Uh-huh. 